Hey friends, this week's video is all about herbs. Herbs are essential ingredients in Vietnamese cooking and there is such a variety. If you're unfamiliar with many of them, you're not alone. I get lots of questions on herbs and which herbs to use with which dishes. So this video is a quick guide to some of the popular herbs used in Vietnamese cuisine. Also in this video, I share how to prepare and store herbs for maximum freshness. So I hope you'll join me in this short video. Let's first review the task of preparing the herbs. This involves separating the leaves from the stems. When plucking the herbs, we're looking for fresh leaves. Leaves that are mangled, discolored, or eaten by bugs should be discarded. To wash the herbs, place in a large basin and fill with cool water. Some herbs are more delicate than others, so we want to be gentle when washing them. Gently dunk and swish the herbs in the water. Dump out the dirty water and then rinse again. Repeat the washing process until the water is clear. Most of these herbs require two to three changes of water. After the final rinse, toss the herbs in the colander and shake off as much of the water as possible. We can also use a salad spinner to remove the remaining water. If not using the herbs right away, place them on paper towels and this helps to remove any remaining moisture. Loosely roll up the herbs and then place in a resealable plastic bag. Store the herbs in the refrigerator and they'll be good for up to one week. Perhaps the most popular herb in Vietnamese cuisine is cilantro. Mild tasting and aromatic, it can be found in virtually every dish. It's included in fresh spring rolls, sandwiches, and often combined with onions to make a garnish for noodle soups. Another popular herb is Thai basil. With purple stems and pink purple flowers, this herb has a licorice-like taste and aroma. It's a must-have herb for Vietnamese chicken noodle or beef noodle soup. Thai basil is also a favorite in dishes containing seafood. Vietnamese coriander has long slender leaves. It's easy to recognize because it has a dark V shape on each leaf. It's aromatic and has a slightly spicy and peppery taste, which makes it really popular in salads and a variety of other dishes. Perilla is part of the mint family. These herbs have a unique underside that's purple. It has a strong musky aroma and is slightly bitter. Perilla can be enjoyed raw and it's sturdy enough to be cooked. Garlic chives have flat, long, slender leaves. These herbs have a very strong grassy and garlicky aroma and taste. They are very popular in fresh spring rolls and are often included in noodle soups and pickles as a substitute for onions. Aromatic and citrusy, lemongrass has a lemony taste without the acid. Lemongrass is tough and fibrous, and the stalks are often smashed or finely minced to release the flavor and aroma. This herb is a popular flavoring for curries and stews, stir fries and sauces. The small delicate leaves of the rice paddy herb yields a citrusy and mild cumin flavor. A favorite in soups, it adds a delicate aroma and mild flavor. Sawtooth herb has long flat leaves with a jagged serrated edge. It has a strong cilantro flavor and is popular in stews and soups. The next herb is spicy mint or peppermint. This herb has a strong fragrance and a spicy minty flavor with a cooling sensation. Spearmint is another really popular herb. Similar to peppermint, it has a minty flavor, but a bit sweeter. Vietnamese balm, this herb has a very intense aroma that's a combination of lemon and mint. Fish mint, the name describes it all. These heart-shaped leaves have a distinctly fishy aroma and is definitely an acquired taste. All of these herbs are best enjoyed fresh, so serve them in or along the side of your favorite Vietnamese dishes. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.